Paddlefish surveys on the lower Alabama River by the Alabama Department of Conservation and Natural Resources are pretty routine. But during one particular outing, things suddenly became exciting when fisheries biologists discovered what they had netted was not exactly a paddlefish. It was a special moment because I've never, that's the first live one I've ever seen. Same with Travis. I've been sampling for him for five years. And so uh, we were pretty excited. I immediately called Stan Cook, our chief, said, Stan, I got an Alabama sturgeon. And he came back on the radio and he said, are you joking? I said, no, Stan, I got an Alabama sturgeon. He said, seriously? I said, Stan, I've got an Alabama sturgeon right now. And since we were on the river, I took my camera phone. I had Travis take a picture of it real quick. So I wanted him to get it and he could send it to Bernie to co confirm what we had. I got an email at 9 o'clock Tuesday morning that the fish had been captured and Steve Ryder was holding, holding the fish there very proudly and I could tell it was an Alabama sturgeon then. Then later that night he sent me some real high quality photos and I could definitely tell um, there was an Alabama sturgeon based on the color, the lack of spines on the snout, um, and just its general appearance, its large eye. Um, and then to see it today was really a treat. This is the rarest large species fish in North America and is the first one anyone has seen in eight years. It is also the second largest caught on record, with the largest Alabama sturgeon having been caught back in 1953. With this, this sturgeon species, like many of the sturgeon species, it's, it's uh, difficult, if not impossible, to determine the sex of the animal uh, from just an external inspection and you certainly cannot determine the reproductive condition of the animal. So the procedure that uh, we performed this, this morning was a pretty standard procedure for sturgeon species where we uh, made the incision so that we could visually inspect the reproductive tissues of the animal. Right there, Sue. Mm-hmm. Um, that white color? Male. Uh, I think it's a male. I agree. And it's not reproductive state. Tag it, tag it. Uh, the sonic tag that we implanted uh, is a is a, a device that emits a, a sonic ping, ultrasonic ping. You can't hear it with without you know, special equipment, but it, it's like a sonar signal. And we have receivers that can, directional receivers that can pick up that signal uh, wherever the fish is in the water. And the ping is unique for that tag. It's got a, a coded, uh, or a little signal code that it emits. Uh, and then you can zero in on where the fish is in the river. And this allows you to, to track that fish over time to see where the fish moves. We have a, a lot of concern about, uh, about these particular fish. And we really feel that, you know, we need to put uh, all the effort we can among all our field stations and personnel to continue working on protecting this fish. After implanting the tracking device, the Alabama sturgeon is kept in the fish hatchery for recovery and close observation until its release several days later. Yep. Pinging good. The Alabama sturgeon is now ready to be released. It's transferred to a boat that will carry it to within just a few feet of where it was caught. In addition to an ultrasonic transponder, the fish has also been tagged with a passive integrated transponder or pit tag. This tag allows the department to permanently mark the sturgeon without altering the external appearance of the fish. Yeah. Four one four D two two three seven four three. What do you think? You ready? We're going to be tracking this fish almost on a daily basis. We want to know exactly where he is. We're going to be taking water quality when we find him. We're going to be taking um, habitat uh, measurements. Basically, what does the bottom look like where he is? Is it sand? Is it mud? Is it a mussel bed? We want to know as much as possible about this. This is really the first time anybody's ever been able to track Alabama sturgeon. It hasn't been done before. It's one of the rarest fishes in North America. Um, one hasn't been collected or confirmed in about eight years, and there's only been about eight or nine in the last 15 to 20 years that have been collected. So it's an extremely uh, sensitive and rare species that we're trying to preserve. We really know nothing about it, where it winters, where it, um, 
where it summers, where it spawns, where it eats, what type of water temperatures it prefers at different times of the year, all kinds of information that'll help us um, preserve the species and be able to minimize any impacts that may occur to it on, on the landscape. We assist the Department of Conservation with uh, funding for tracking, um, for setting up a laboratory for propagation and culture program, as well as the monitoring program once the fish is released. The department continues to track and monitor the fish with the optimistic assurance that this Alabama sturgeon will lead to more of its kind and eventually their preservation.